Hello, my child. It's okay not to know, but it's not okay not even to try. Good morning, my shining babies. I hope you all are doing well and are safe at home. So, we have been doing prepositions for quite some time now. And I'm sure by now you all have understood the topic prepositions very well. So who can tell me what prepositions are? Oh, wow. Everybody is raising their hands. That's awesome. It's so good to see that all of you have understood what prepositions are. So prepositions are words that tell us exactly what the position is of a noun or a pronoun, where exactly they are. So today we're going to do a fun activity to see that you have really understood prepositions. And what exactly are we going to do? Well, I can tell you that we are not going to do any written work today. What we're going to do is we're going to draw. So let's just draw and see the positions. Wouldn't that be fun, right? Let's go. All right, children, so here we are. Now let's see. These are five sentences. And can you see the words underlined with yellow? Now these are our prepositions, which are going to show the exact position of the noun that we are going to draw. Now let's read the, read the sentence and see. The first sentence, draw a pillow on the bed. Where are we going to draw the pillow? The, uh, the position is on the bed. So we're going to draw one pillow on the bed. Now the exact position is on the bed. Let's see what this next sentence says. Draw a suitcase on the bed. Seems like somebody is going somewhere. So they're packing. So we're going to draw a suitcase. We're going to draw a suitcase. There's the handle. All right. Now, draw a suitcase on the bed. Where is the suitcase? It is on the bed. Now, draw a book in the suitcase. So, where are we going to draw the book? We're going to draw the book in the suitcase. Okay. So, we're going to draw a book. Here is the book, which is in the suitcase. Now, draw a mat under the bed. Where is the mat? What is the position of the mat? It is under the bed. So, we are going to draw a mat, which is under the bed. Here is the mat, which is under the bed. Now, our last sentence says, draw a frame on the wall behind the bed. Now, where is the position of the frame? It is behind the bed. On the wall, behind the bed. So, here is our frame, which is behind the bed. Right? Now, let's go through it again. Draw a pillow on the bed. Here we are. Draw a suitcase on the bed. Again, it is on the bed. Draw a book in the suitcase. Here, here is the book which is in the suitcase. Draw a mat under the bed. Can you see the mat? It is under the bed. Draw a frame on the wall behind the bed. So it's on the wall behind the bed. Right? Wasn't that easy? So children, with this exercise, you have understood that where your prepositions are and where you are going to place your nouns or draw your nouns according to the prepositions. Now let's open up our notebook, English Grammar Notebook and start our notebook work. So children, first, as we know that we're going to start our work with the date. Mention the date first. Then write down the heading prepositions. Write the instructions. Read the sentence and draw the pictures. Now let's see what the sentence says. Just like we did in the example exercise in the video, 
This is similar to that. Now let's read. Draw a ball under the table. Can you see? In the next page, I have drawn a table. You will also do the same. You will write the sentences over here and in the next page, draw the table. And then according to these sentences, one by one, you will draw according to wherever the instructions have been given. Now let's see. Draw a ball under the table. Now what is the preposition over here? The preposition is under. That means where the ball are you going to draw? You're going to draw the ball under the table. Similarly, draw a jug on the table. Draw water in the jug. Draw a flower vase on the table. And then draw a glass behind the jug. <clears throat> Follow these instructions and note where the prepositions are and draw the nouns accordingly. Get it checked by your parents and then submit it in your Google Classroom.